Today we're roasting coffee using a popcorn popper. Here's the coffee beans right here. They're green coffee beans. They have not been roasted. We have the catch basin for chaff. It has wet paper towels in it. Add some coffee to this. And then we keep adding until it slows down and then roast away. Yeah, see that slows down Pot. anywhere from five to seven minutes. When it turns a nice golden brown, then we'll consider it done. Okay, I might add a little bit more to that. One more tablespoon. See it changing color a little bit right now already. We're at the one minute mark. That rose pretty fast. Two minute mark. Don't know what that's from. That looks pretty good to me. And let's pour it out. Hot, 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 hot. Learn something new every day. All right, come on out of here. That tongue's probably better for that. Woo! There we go. Tongs. Call the fire department. No. <laughs> Not bad for first go round. Four minutes. There we go. Nice, well roasted coffee beans. My first roasting of coffee beans, and we used a hot air popper. And now we know it takes about four minutes to get them roasted. This is a light roast. We'll see how it tastes tomorrow. I went back for another three minutes because I wanted a little bit darker roast. This is what we got. Nice dark roast. You can see the oils starting to come out of the beans. Now I know a little bit more about coffee roasting for the next time. I'm going to wait until they cool down, put them in this jar, and not seal the lid. I've been told that there's a gas that comes off the beans for the next 12 to 24 hours. Lightly roasted coffee beans. Join me tomorrow for a delicious cup of coffee. My first adventure into roasting coffee. I say this was a success. I like this. Have a cup of pure delight. This is the freshly ground beans we roasted yesterday. We're gonna drip coffee then this morning. The way I do drip coffee is a little different than other people. Because I put the coffee dripper directly on the cup, it's very easy to overfill. I have figured out a solution to that. Coffee water's ready. We're gonna get it off the stove. It's nice and hot. Put it into my pourer, because I don't have a dripper yet. Actually, some of it's going to come right straight out of the pan here. Use that to get the initial bloom off the coffee. It smells delicious. My brewing techniques over the years have changed little. Learned how to deep from overflowing the cup. I figured that I'd try roasting though. I 
And we're going to see how well this one turns out. Take a spoon and make sure all of those grounds get exposed to the hot water. I did buy the cheapest beans there were out there because this is my first time roasting it. Okay, if I use this cup to show you what it looks like, why sure it is. There's our coffee. Nice little brew. It's a little bit weaker than I'd like. And that is probably my roasting and grinding. That's a nice flavor. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.